we quite often are faced with we're faced with the realization that we've got too much in our world has anyone ever felt that they've got too much clutter they're just feeling overwhelmed and buried in the noise that's around them now this can be physical things on our desk and in our space it can be photos on our phone it can be too much going on in our world or maybe a wardrobe that's exploding now some of you may have heard of Mary Kondo she became a sensation uh, of probably about 12 to 18 months ago she had a series on Netflix that was hugely popular about minimalizing she's um, a tidy expert from Tokyo and she used she would often say her catchphrase would be does it spark joy her belief was things that you hang on to within your world need to spark joy otherwise get rid of them what purpose do they serve and so she's a specialist in tidying people's spaces and removing that clutter but here's the thing I want to propose to you that we can get rid of the clutter that consumes our energy whether it be emotionally spiritually it's the things that are taking up too much space in our world in our life taking up too much time taking up too much emotional energy and exhausting and overwhelming us so what are the things that are cluttering your world your time your space your brain your heart your energy are there people in your life that when you spend time with them you feel completely and utterly drained these people are like energy vampires that just suck the life out of you well I challenge you to Mary Kondo them <laughs> get rid of them here are the three questions that I propose that people ask with everything in their life it can be friendships it can be family members pieces of paper items of clothing jobs that you have whatever it is you ask these three questions the first question is does it serve me Mary Kondo says does it spark joy but I ask you does it actually serve me does it empower me does it fulfill me does it feel does it make my world better to have this thing in my space and time so consider that in terms of the relationships you have that cooking utensil in your kitchen the clothing you, that you wear and most importantly with clothing ask yourself do I feel good when I wear this do I feel comfortable do I feel empowered do I feel really good in that piece of clothing and if it feels a bit tight doesn't quite fit something scratches on you and you put off wearing it when you look at it in the wardrobe it's not actually serving you do you have to adjust yourself all the time fashion designers say that if you have to adjust your clothing more than twice it's not a good fit the clothing doesn't fit you it should just sit on you and you not have to adjust it at any point in time so ask yourself how many times you have to adjust your clothing is it really serving you the next question you need to ask is when did I last use it now this certainly applies to clothing cooking utensils tools in your office and things that are around your space when was the last time you used it but seriously ask in terms of those relationships or friendships when was the last time we had great quality time together when was the last time we had a friendship when was there a good relationship when when was the last time that that actually happened and it served to you they're the things you need to ask about time frame when was the last time I used this lived this embraced it and the last question you need to ask yourself is how easy is it to replace it so if I was to discard it and I regretted that how hard is it to replace it these days there's very little that you cannot replace rekindle rebuild if you absolutely needed to now it's so easy in this digital world to scan things so it's easy to find it again those old uni notes that you're hanging on to they're probably really outdated and you know what if you threw them away 
you could definitely find them on Google if you absolutely needed to. Do you really need a hard copy of that book and hanging on to it because you're reliving the experience of reading that book? Really? Are you going to read it again or is it just a memory that you're hanging on to for nostalgic reasons? You've read the book. Let it go. You enjoyed it in that moment. Hang on to a picture of the cover if you want to. And when it comes to friendships and relationships, well, if you let them go, if you just let them lapse, I'm sure there is opportunity if you felt like it was missing and something was missing from your life that you could pick up the phone and just catch up with that person if you really felt that that was missing from your life and your life could be better by having that person in your world. But seriously ask yourself, how much are they serving you? How much is that bringing enrichment into your world and making your world a better place by having that there? Chances are with so much that you can replace it if you need to. Certainly in terms of clothing, furniture, those kind of things. You can also ask yourself, would this be better served with somebody else? If this shirt is really tight and, you know, maybe it's you're not 16 anymore and you're getting a bit old to wear it, someone else might think it's a really funky retro outfit and get immense joy from it rather than you trying to squeeze into it. It could be a piece of furniture that somebody else could get great value from. Clothing, furniture, tools. If you're not using it, somebody else could get immense value from it and use it more. Maybe it's that avocado cutter and you barely ever have avocados, but somebody eats five of them a day and you've just made their world by making it available in the op shop. So think about those things. It could probably better serve somebody else if you let them move on to their next home. So I'm going to leave that with you. Those three questions are, does it serve me? When did I last use it? And how easy is it to replace it? I really love to hear your thoughts and comments on this. How do you Marie Kondo your world? How do you minimalize things in your life, both physical, spiritual, emotional? How do you minimalize on the things that consume your space, time, and energy? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please share and comment below.